Welcome to the Spinal Essentials video on standing. Let's recap the three main points you need to understand. One, posture is about how your body holds you up, not how you hold your body up. Two, forwards bad, backwards good. Three, your body molds to the environment you put it in. We tend to take thousands of steps a day, so small differences in footwear can make a big difference to the rest of your body. Walking can be the most restorative activity you can do if done with the right shoe setup. Every step you take could be helping you or harming you. If you're doing any exercise from walking to yoga to lifting weights, getting this right will help performance and minimize aches and injury. Number one, heels up. Since the body is a single synchronized unit, meaning that everything moves together at the same time, when you consider changes to any one part of the body, you must consider any effects that change caused on every other part. To demonstrate this, we're going to observe what happens to Dr. Thorne's body in three different positions. Neutral foot, heel down relative to the rest of his foot and heel up relative to the rest of his foot. Let's see what happens when he breathes in, breathes out and lets his body slump in each of those three positions. Notice how in the heel down position his chest here is more caved in and compressed. His shoulders are further rounded forward and his head goes forward relative to the rest of his body. Notice how in the heels up position his head is further back, his shoulders are further back and his chest is more open allowing him to breathe easier. Now this may seem like a small difference but if you are taking five to ten thousand steps a day this is a big difference to your health and well-being. The concept here is very simple and very powerful. Dropping the heel downward compared to any other part of the foot forces the shoulders to roll forward. This compresses your chest, making it harder to breathe. It pushes your head forward, increasing the tension on your spine and nervous system, creating more pain and less ease. Notice how even though these shoes seem to have a raised heel, they actually allow the heel bone to drop downward relative to the rest of the foot. Notice too that slip slops with a soft heel section will do the same. Ultimately, having your heel drop lower than the rest of your foot will cause tension in areas of your body far removed from your feet, cause you more discomfort and delay your unwinding progress. Having your heel raised slightly sets up proper leverage and supports the unwinding process and greater levels of ease and comfort. How much heel raise do you need? No more than three centimeters and it is different for each person and different in each shoe. We have customizable heel wedges that accomplish this for you. Book your shoe setup appointment so that we can test this for you the first time and then you'll be able to do it for yourself from then on. Number two, say no to arch support. If you had to sprain your ankle, would it be a good idea to place it in a cast for the rest of your life? Would that make your ankle stronger or weaker? Since the arch in your foot is a dynamic structure, meaning that it is not fixed or rigid, it needs full movement in order to function well. Conventional arch supports, even custom made ones, do not allow for full movement of your arch. Like a cast on your ankle, they hold things in place long term. Traditional arch supports may help people get short term relief or even shift symptoms from their feet to other areas, but will not fix the problem. They will also limit your body's ability to unwind between visits, recreating your symptoms or leaving you stuck on something that could cause more problems. Dot placement. Our experience has taught us 
that there is a place for very slight correction on the breakdown side of your body, just like when you are sitting. This small dot may seem unlikely to do much, but it bolsters your breakdown side more than you'd imagine. Three, wide toe box. The key here is that your feet need space to support your body and move correctly. Restriction to that movement, even just slightly, will add up over the thousands of steps you take a day and set up compensation somewhere in your body, causing problems that might show up in minutes or years. While barefoot is good and works for a lot of people, realize that some of us have become so compromised that not only do we need to wear shoes practically, but wearing well set up shoes could actually be better than barefoot for some.